hello i welcome you once more again to remedia one youtube channel uh today we are looking at the 2022 format question number nine which happens to be the trigonometric graph we are giving you all the secrets the hints and the short way to get your measurement point all right so you have been given the table they wanted to copy and complete and then afterwards they wanted to draw the graph and use it to answer some questions let's go so copy and complete we are going to use a calculator to complete the table and you have that calculator with you in any fs99 one which is allowed you can able to use it to so i will recommend you to get one done a lot of videos about how you can use this fs991 to do pretty most of the questions so you have been given y is equals to cos x minus 3 sine x so wherever we see x we are just going to replace it with this x numbers so we grab our calculator we go to cos make sure your calculator is in degree so cos they have done the zero for you so 20 and now look at what they gave they left the answer in one decimal place so you're going to do the same minus three sine 20 close it and boom this give you negative 0 0.08 we are running it to one decimal place so it's going to be negative 0 0.1 you go here to pick the one back and then change it to 40 or you delete you type 4 here to make it 40 you come here delete this type this boom so this is going to be negative 1.2 it's 0.1 but look behind is 6 so you add one when it's five or more you add one okay so let's go ahead and record these two that we have done this one was negative 0 0.1 and the 40 gave us negative 1.2 bring your calculator back so here we are going to change it the 60 has been recorded so we are going to do the 80 so we delete right 8 making it 80 delete 8 making it 80 boom so here is going to be negative 2.8 let's pick it up 100 and change this one 100 and that give you negative 3.1 pick it back change it to 120 so the type here okay 120 yeah then we got 120 boom the calculator gave us in the set so change it to decimal this one here and then you get if you run it to one decimal place you're going to get the same negative 3.1 so let's go ahead and record this one so the 80 gave us negative 2.8 negative 3.1 and negative 3.1 and two more to go grab your calculator take it from here change it to 140 for here and then here close it for there boom that give us negative 2.7 take it back change it to 180 that give us negative one so let's go ahead and complete the table so negative 2.7 and negative 1.0 yeah, so we have able to complete this table now we are moving on to the b so let's go to the graph okay so we have our graph here we are going to create our axis so look at the x axis you see most of the numbers are positive so that means it's going to be on the right hand side and as you look at the y axis most of the numbers are also on the negative so we are going to leave much space down here so that we can get our negative and we have to look at the scale looking at the scale every five little boxes is one centimeter okay so 10 little boxes is two centimeters so you have to know that so let's go ahead and create our y in the x axis i need much space here so i'm going to create my y axis i want this here and then the x axis is here so we have our x axis and we have our y axis here for the x axis every two centimeters is 20 this is one centimeter 20 uh, two centimeters so here is going to be 20. let me write it up here it doesn't matter it can go up or down here is going to be 40 60 80 100 so you complete it and here 180 the y axis four centimeters to one unit 
so this is one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter so here is going to be one here is zero the origin here then you count one two three four this is negative one one two three four negative two one two three four negative three one two three four negative four as such okay all right let's go ahead and then we are going to plot our points and before you plot your points remember this is the b that we are solving you have to know each boxes how much is equals to because there is a lot of decimals especially the y axis so the y axis we know that from here to here is 20 little boxes and is equals to one that means each one box is 0 0.05 if we need 0 0.1 it's going to be two and so forth and so forth so you need to know that let's go one zero is one so zero is one it's up here so we make our point right here and then we come to 20 is negative 0 0.1 we are going to take two boxes is there 40 negative 1.2 so negative 1 and then 0.2 we are going to count 4 so it's going to be right here 60 is 2.1 so negative 2.1 negative 2 is here and then we count two boxes down 80 is 2 negative 2.8 so negative 2 is here and then 2.5 because it's in between the negative 3 and the negative 2 and that means we need 0 0.3 which we are going to count 6 so it's going to be down here we come to 100 100 is negative 3.1 so 100 negative 3 is here 0.1 we count two boxes is here 120 the same position position as that 140 2.7 so we count negative 2.7 so negative 2 is here this is 0.5 and we need 0 0.2 so we're going to count four more so that's going to be here 160 negative 20 so here negative 2.0 so we got it right here 180 is negative one so right here so now we are, we are going to draw with our free hand go through like that so you with your free hand drawing clearly smoothly right, right here awesome so we have able to sketch the trigonometric graph given now we are moving on to the C. We want us to find the true set. So we are on the C I true set of two plus cos x equals to three sine x. Let's rearrange it in such a way that it's going to look like the one that we were given. So we're given y is equals to cos x minus three sine x. So let's go ahead and rearrange the question. The one that we are looking for the true set. We are going to bring this one here and we are going to take the constant to this side. So as we do that, we are going to get cos x minus 3 sine x equals to this one go here become negative 2. And then if you want to turn it around, when you're turning everything around, it like you're swapping, nothing is going to change. You're just swapping. 3 sine x. So here you underline and you see that the y is corresponding to this and this is exactly the same as this. So here we get y is equals to negative 2. So we're going to find a true set for y is equals to negative 2. I'm going to draw a line. So negative 2, you draw your line to cut what we did and then after that you raise it up here to hit the x axis to get it the figures so as you trace it you see that it's going to hit this line here and then this one is really on it it's just right here 160 so for you to find your true set is x is such a way that x is equals to this first number here we can say it's going to be 58 because each little box is like two so this is 50 and you count four and it's 58 so 58 degrees and 
this is 160 degrees and then you close it okay here you're not supposed to get a 58 exact uh the examiner is going to give you plus or minus two degrees so you can go off or you can go above or below that and uh, you're not going to be penalized okay, let's move on to ii so ii they want us to find the range of the values of x for y increasing and x increasing so let's come back to the graph so we see that you're coming down and then here when you get to here the middle here that's where you started increasing to see that it's from here to here you were going up and then you stop here so they they, they want us to find the x values so it's going to be a range of numbers so for that one is going to be it's have to be in between here here have to extend here so in between here this is going to be 110 110 degrees and then 180 degrees and you can put x here and then you see that here it stop and then it fall down here so it's decreasing or increasing and then here after in between here you see that it went up so it was increasing for that range is going to, this is greater than or equals to 110 degree and it's less than or equals to 180 some people doesn't mind maybe if you do this interval you might also be given the and here since it stop you close it so you can also use this and that one have to also be true i i, I they just want us to find the minimum point of the curve we have to be right here the lengthening side here to be here that's the minimum point then the x axis you could see was that negative 3.1 but you're going to get plus or minus 2 so uh, if you're off you still get it right it corresponded and that's going to be 100 and that's the minimum point of the curve you do it now before then let's look at how the marking scheme was being done for this question so here completing the table will give you a bonus point three three points if you get any of the points of they will take half point away and then you come here completing the, uh, the graph with the x y as is plotting all that will also give you another bonus point three and then coming here rearranging and getting the method right you're going to get a method point and you're going to also get the answer and then here you will get a, a bonus one and answer one and then here we also give you the method point one and then answer point one making one two three four five six two six plus six is getting 12 points for this uh, question thank you very much for sticking with me all the way to the end please if today is your first time go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so anytime we drop a video you'll be notified and you will join us to do amazing we wish you the best and the best in your upcoming exam bye bye